Here's a Case 1070 that I just bought. Right now I'm draining all the transmission oil out of it. There was some water in it. It runs. So I need to get new oil and then change the hydraulic filters over here. Got to get them apart next and hopefully find some new filters today. Then get it filled back up and see if it'll move. Seven thousand two hundred and forty six hours. I don't know if that still works or not. Fuel, engine temp, engine pressure, alternator, transmission pressure. I don't know what that one is. Transmission temperature? Yeah. I think the air conditioning still works. Is that a speaker? Must have had a radio. Must have been where the radio was. Alright, I thought I'd make a video of changing the hydraulic filters on the case. And when I took these out, I went to find the same ones or a Wix filter. And I called around, the only place that had some was the Case IH dealer, so I ran out there and got these. And I noticed the Wix filters have a relief valve on them. The ones from the Case IH dealer don't. So I was worried I got the wrong ones and I ran back out there to have them double check and they told me no, these are the right filters. So I asked them about the check valve on the end of it, or the relief valve. And they told me there was two guys behind the parts counter and a mechanic in there. And they all told me the reason why the Wix filter has the relief valve on it is because it's not made to the standards of these filters. So with this filter, you don't need the check valve on it. And the mechanic even pointed out the space in here that gets taken up that won't allow the fluid to flow through. That still didn't make any sense to me, and I even had the entire thing in there, and I showed them. I said, how is that going to filter anything? The oil's just going to come in on the outside and shoot right up the center without that valve in there. So they assured me that that's the proper filter, that's how it goes in there. They even had a faculty representative come down there and explain to them how proper filtration works and how these filters are better than the Wix filters or any aftermarket filter. So then I did some reading on the internet and found out that you have to pry these check valves out and put them in your new filter. <laughs> so don't believe everything the parts guys tell you at the dealership. So a problem I'm having with the thing is the clutch doesn't do anything so I can't get it in the gear to take it for a drive. And I guess there's a spool valve down under there. You can see the linkage moving. So I need to get that plate up on the floor. See if I can see under there. Make sure the linkage is adjusted properly. 
I need to clean all that garbage out of there first. So I'll clean that up and see what's under there. Alright, right here is that spool valve for the clutch. It says right there. So, with it fully depressed, you can see that there's a little bit, it'll move a little bit more, maybe a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to start it and see if that extra quarter of an inch is what's out of alignment. Let's see if that'll fix it.
nothing works other than the transmission pressure. The linkage must be off. All right, clutch in, then you should hear a grunt. There it goes. Then you can put it into gear. If you don't hear that grunt, it won't go into gear. There it goes. These are for the remote valves out back. So where's the reverse? That's going forward. That's forward.
just park it where we can get out going forward. <laughs> 